can cover their dark circles from Maybelline Fit Me concealers, like you have no idea. That concealer on me is like peeing in the ocean. Hey guys, welcome back. It's time for another installment of First Impressions February, where I am bringing you a new First Impressions video every Saturday for the month. Of February. This is the third video in this series of four that I'm doing. If you missed the first two, that's okay. It's not too late. I'll link them up here and down in the description box so you can go check those out and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the others. Once I'm done with these four videos, sometime in March, I will come back on here and do a kind of follow-up video where I give you my more developed thoughts. But today we are talking about a concealer. If you're wondering why my face looks a little weird, that is why. I'm basically wearing half a face of makeup, no concealer, no powder, no cheek products, but we're going to fix that here pretty soon. I'm going to be testing out the Catrice Cosmetics Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. Okay, so I'm going to apply this on camera so you can see how it works, get my very first impressions, and then later today I will hop back on here so that we can see how it has worn. Let's get started. Okay, I'm excited about this because let me just say that my under eye circles are intense. Like I know you can see them right now, but you guys, like the lighting completely disguises my dark circles. I don't know, it just like adds so much brightness that when I try to explain to you guys how intense my dark circles are, I feel like you don't believe me. I mean, one time I was working and I had on a full face of makeup, like concealer, primer, color corrector, powder, the whole thing, and one of my students asked me how I got bruises under my eyes. Yeah, kids can be nasty little bitches sometimes, but that's okay. So I almost always use a color corrector, a yellow color corrector, which I'm going to do today, but only on one side, on this side here, just so we can see how it makes a difference. So let me do that really quickly before we move on. Okay, now I have heard that this has a strong smell to it, at least that's what my friend Kaylee said, and it does. It almost smells like hairspray. I don't know, shampoo? Oh, and mine is in the color 005 Light Natural. I will say they don't seem to have a very wide shade selection, at least in the store, which is where I found this. I don't know how much to use, so. Oh, it does feel very wet, like it feels cold. Okay, where's my brush? And I'm gonna use my Real Techniques contour brush. This tends to be what I like for liquid concealers. Honestly, I think the color match is pretty good. The other color that I saw in my store was called Light, and this one is Light Natural, and honestly, I couldn't tell which one was lighter. I'm sorry, guys, the meowing. It's out of control. Honestly, that blended in pretty easily. I still have some darkness here, so I'm gonna try to go in with another layer, but it seems to have kind of like dried down mostly pretty quickly, which I like, and yeah, blended in really easily. So, let me try some more. That was probably more than I needed for a second layer. Here we go. Okay, so I would say the coverage on this side is like heavy medium coverage. Like I'm not gonna go like full, full on. Like I tend to compare things to my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer because that's what I found that works best for me so far. Although I really wanna try the Tarte Shape Tape, but I know they came out with new colors and I can't figure out what color to get, which has nothing to do with this video. But if you have suggestions for me, let me know if you have like a similar skin tone. Okay, so that blended in pretty easily too. I'm gonna go in with a little more, I'm gonna try not to go in with quite as much, but like just in this little like shadowy area or like dip. Tie it. I do like how quickly this really does dry and set. That's more the formula that I tend to gravitate towards than like the really, really creamy ones that just kind of crease a lot and make me look older than I am. Okay, so far I like this. It doesn't look terribly dry. It doesn't look too creasy or cakey. Before I do the other spots on my face, I'm gonna go ahead and set it with powder. I find that the sooner I set this shit with powder, the better, and I'm using my NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder 
translucent or something. And I use the same brush for this. So far, I'm giving this a good grade. I do smell it. I don't love the smell, but like the way it looks like on first application is good. I definitely need the color corrector. I see more darkness coming through here. I don't give it the same power as my MAC Pro Longwear, but I'm also not wearing a heavy foundation today, so maybe that could make a difference. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do the spots on my face and we will see how that goes. None of these are like active spots. They're like, um, just like scarring left over from old spots, so I am gonna just go in it with the wand. Or run it around the nose. Oh, that's gonna make it really smell. I might not wanna use it around my nose. Oops, what are these little boogers? Let's use a different brush just because. This is the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. This is actually, I think it's maybe giving me higher coverage here than on my under eyes. I'm actually really happy with that. Like I don't even feel like I need a second layer on those. I mean, they're not like completely invisible, but I don't care. So I'm just gonna powder my face. Okay, I'm gonna put some mascara on my lower lashes now, do some cheek products, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the final look, and so far I am pretty happy with this. You guys, I think it covered decently well. It brightened nicely without looking unnatural. Um, you know, I always get a little bit of creasing. I have literally never found a concealer that just looks perfect on the under eyes, but I am willing to forego perfection for just covering the shit out of the shit on my face. If that makes sense. So I think it'll probably crease a little bit, but I'm not too worried about it. I think it worked really well on my face. I don't love the smell, but it's not, I don't know, we'll see. It's currently about one o'clock in a couple hours, I am teaching a lesson and then Tut and I have plans today, right Tut? To take a nap. Like we haven't been able to have a nap together in a long time. So I'm taking a nap today and then I will come back and show you my face. Oh, I love you. Oh, don't. Don't bite me, I love you. All right, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I am back. Sorry if I look a little disheveled. I definitely just woke up from a nap and I didn't really give all my lights time to warm up completely. So if it looks weird, that's why. I just wanted to film this update really quick for you guys. It's about 6.30, so I've had this concealer on for five and a half hours and I have not touched it at all. It has gotten very, Creasy, like way more creasy than I anticipated when I first put it on and like hard creasy, if you know what I mean, like kind of like stuck in the creases. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in as much as I can, but it's that thing where like, if I actually pull down gently on the skin, it looks like I have stripes under my eyes. Like, can you see that? So like the concealer has settled in those little creases and then there's like no concealer around. So yeah, that's not cute. Now, honestly, if I just leave it alone and I'm just looking from like, you know, like a normal distance that another human would be most of the time, um, it looks fine. Like it's not awful. So I still have hope for this. Let's see if I can kind of smooth it out a little bit. Sometimes I can just kind of work it in. I mean, that's better already. So it might be something you just have to kind of like be aware of. Um, the makeup that I put on like some spots and stuff still looks good. I still think it looks like pretty decent coverage. It's not like crazy coverage, but it's really, really good, especially for a drugstore. So I'm still excited to kind of test this out different ways. I'm gonna try it with different primers. I have an under eye primer. I'm gonna try it with different application methods. And then, you know, I'll update you when I do the follow-up video with all of my final reviews. Oh, I will say that it did smell for a while, but I don't smell it anymore. I probably could smell it for like three hours. All right, I gotta go because I need to start making dinner. Keith's on his way home and I just wanna have a really relaxing night. I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are, whatever you're doing. 
leave me comments because I freaking love to read comments from you guys. I mean, it is my favorite part of making YouTube videos. It's like when the comments start to roll in. So make me feel warm and fuzzy on the inside with those comments. Hit subscribe so I can see you here next time. Hop on over to Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat and follow me at Robin's Cup. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Missed the others so far? Don't worry, it's not too late. I will link them up here and down in the description box. Todd really wants you to go watch those videos like he's getting pissed, so we're just gonna wait here while you go watch that shit. No, tie it, no. I need to try it other ways. I'm gonna try it with like. So I'm still, <laughs> Todd, are you okay? You tried to jump onto my makeup, but you didn't quite make it.